I just wanted to talk for a minute today about my birdhead flutes. Um, these flutes are patterned after some artifacts that are in the Smithsonian and the Library of Congress, a few other museums, um, that were created on the Northern Plains during the mid to late 1800s. Um, they're typically longer flutes than you normally see. Um, most of mine average 30 to 36 inches long. Um, and they're, they're usually carved up fairly intricately and uh, some of them are painted with earth pigments and things like that. Um, my flutes are you know, bored from a single piece of wood um, and then finished and aged to, to look like some of those museum pieces. Um, this one in particular is uh, made of walnut. It's in the key of F sharp. And I uh, just wanted to play it for a few minutes so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, so as you can tell, it's got a nice, clean, crisp voice. Uh, it all, it's going to sound great on a recording, and uh, hopefully somebody will enjoy this one fairly soon. Um, just to give you a little bit of contrast, uh, here's another flute. Um, this one is in the key of F, so it's a half step lower than the one I just played. Um, this one's made of cedar. Uh, it has a little bit of painting done on it, things like that. Um, but this one, I intentionally left with an older sounding voice. Um, a lot of the older flutes, especially the Northern Plains flutes, had particularly raspy voices, um, a little rougher than you're used to hearing you know, these days, but uh, I like the tone. A lot of people seem to like it, um, so I make a few of these just to uh, give people the option. But here's what this one sounds like. <laughs> 